fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi silver, the Lone Ranger. western United States, where only strong men could face the hardships of the frontier, and only the brave could meet the dangers of hostile Indians and outlaws, there was no one who could match the strength and courage of the masked rider of the plains. Daring and resourceful, tireless in the fight for law and order, the stories of his adventures have been handed down through the generations, and he remains the greatest champion of justice the West ever knew. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for the hills! Tell us waiting for us! Hi, old Silver! Away! Dr. Seitz studied his patient for a moment, then, pushing back his chair, walked to the window. Andy Drummond pale and anxious, watched him. Twice he licked his dry lips before he was able to speak. Doc, can you tell anything? Yes, Andy, I'm afraid I can. Your condition is clear enough to any qualified man of medicine. I won't go into a technical discussion of what's wrong because you wouldn't understand me. You're not interested in long words. You're interested in learning the truth about yourself. Uh Uh-huh. That's it, Doc. How long have you been suffering from these cramps? Almost a month. In spite of the medicine I gave you? Yeah. Ah, that simply makes my diagnosis more certain. Well, is it going to cost me much to get well again, Doc? Is it? You know, I ain't got much. There's a family to feed and the bad breaks I've been having these past couple of years. I, I couldn't afford too much. It will cost you almost nothing. Oh, thank heaven for that. Uh, Continue with the medicine I've given you. It won't cure your illness, but it will alleviate the pain. And what will cure it, Doc? Nothing. What? Are you strong enough to hear the truth? Tell me, Doc. Tell me. You've got to tell me the truth. Andy. Huh? If there's anything you should do before you go, do it now. I don't understand. Before inside a month, you'll be dead. Get the young'uns to sleep? Yes. Where's Bill? Still out. Funny the kid can't stay home for an evening once in a while. I'd Andy, like... wait. Huh? Andy, if I asked you a question, will you be frank with me? Why? Why ain't I always... I just asked. Sit down a minute. Uh-huh. Andy, what's wrong? 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 <laughs> now, what in thunder put that notion in your head? What made you think anything was? The way you've been acting... Huh? Me? I've noticed it all evening. 
I've noticed this ever since you come back from town. Oh, sure. You called on Dr. Sykes, didn't you? Sure, but Was then... Was there anything he told you, Andy? Was it? Oh, honey, where'd you get notions like that? Why, maybe I'm tired. I've been working pretty hard. And you know yourself, I'm always worrying about where I'm going to get my hands on some cash, but what then... What did I... the doctor say? About my feeling bad? Yes. <laughs> well, doggone, honey, if I tell you, you won't believe what me. What was it? <laughs> Doc made me feel like a fool. Said there wasn't anything wrong with me at all. Except maybe I eat a bit more and it's good for me every once in a while. <laughs> That's what he said, honey. <laughs> Just laughed at me. That's what he did. You are telling me the truth, Andy. Well, of course I am. <laughs> if I was ailing, wouldn't I be having you running around making a fuss over me? Oh, no. <laughs> you can just bet I would. I ain't the fellow to overlook a chance like that. And it's just money you're worrying about? That's it. Oh, oh, Andy, I'm so glad. Huh? Oh, it'd be nice to have money again, of course. It'd be fine to know that when the children grew up, we could give them a proper start. And if we wanted to, we could always get the things we need, but... Oh. But what, Sarah? <laughs> well, it's so much better for us all to have our good health than to be rich that, well, money just doesn't seem to matter much. I... Andy, who could that be? It's a funny time of night for anyone to call. I don't know. We'll soon find out. Who's there? Me, Andy. Hope Catlin. Oh, hello, Hope. Howdy. What you doing out this way this time of night? Come on in. Thanks, Andy. Evening, Miss Drummond. Good evening. Won't you have a chair, Hope? What can I do for you? Well, I, uh... Hmm? Miss Drummond wouldn't mind. Oh, you want to speak to Andy alone, don't you, Mr. Chaplin? Why, of course, I don't mind. That's mighty kind, ma'am. I'll be in the kitchen, Andy. All right. What is it, Hope? Got something on your mind? Andy, I have. What? But first, I want to make something clear. I don't want you to think the doc was telling anything out of school. You see, this afternoon I was to his office and waiting for you to get through and... Uh, well, Andy, I, I just couldn't help overhearing what Doc told you. Oh, golly. And I want you to know that I'm mighty sorry. Mighty sorry. You ain't told nobody, have you? Andy, what you think I am? Well, if Sarah or the kids was ever to find it out, I, I don't savvy. know. Oh, you needn't worry about me. You can take my word for it. Anything I happen to find out by accident is just between you and me. I ain't breathing it to nobody. Oh, you're a prince. Thanks, Shucks. That's all right. But you started the same. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Andy, you're in pretty tough shape, ain't you? Money? Yeah. Hope, outside of what this here house would bring, <laughs> which sure wouldn't be much, I couldn't raise a dollar. You know about me having to sell the last of my beef, I suppose. And the land, well, you don't hold open range unless you run steers on it. I can't. I reckon my neighbors will have moving in on it most any day. That's too bad. Yeah, can't be helped. It'd be pretty nice to know that uh, when you was gone, your, uh, your family was provided for. Wouldn't it, Andy? <laughs> it sure would, but... Uh... Hey, you mean something by that, Hobe? What you getting at? I did mean something by it. What? And if you was to see things my way, Andy, you could... Uh... You could go knowing your family was took care of. It'd make this month easier, fella. It'd be a real good feeling to know your wife and kids weren't going to have to live on charity. Meaning uh... that if you do something for me, I'll do something for you. What? I'll put $10,000 cash in the bank and credit it to you. It'll be your family's when you're gone. 10000 That's a sight of cash, Andy. Don't I know it. But for that 10000 you You'll sell me something. Huh? <laughs> what have I got left to sell that would be worth 10000 to anybody? I can tell you, Andy. Yeah? Your life. We'll stop at that ranch house ahead of us there, fella. How do you feel now? Mm, me, me feel plenty bad. I'm sorry, Kimasabi. It's the infection that set in. We've done all that we can, but time and nature will have to do the rest. At least... What you think? 
At least, Tato, you have the satisfaction of knowing that you sent the man who gave you that wound to the rope. Uh, that's right. Rain up. Who? Oh. Who, oh, Silver? Oh. 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 <coughs> Can I help you down, Tato? Oh. Oh, me all right. Me not need help. Well, we're going to make camp just as soon as possible. And then you're going to get some rest. Uh. Come. I hope my mask won't alarm the people who live here. Surely they won't refuse us supplies when we offer them money. Uh. I hear someone moving about inside. The place isn't empty. Perhaps they... Oh. No, Mary, you can't go outside. The youngsters seem to think that they... Oh, oh, your mask. Wait, oh, you... don't close the door. We're not outlaws. We need supplies. We'll pay for them. Here. And these should show you that we'll pay. Well, if you're not an outlaw, why are you mad? Well, oh, that doesn't matter. I want to get... Oh. Now, what is your it? Your friend, he's hurt. Yes. My land sakes, the way he looks, he must be in terrible pain. Oh, me. Me, all right. He wouldn't get Tata to admit it if he were being tortured. But aren't you doing anything for him? He'll have an opportunity to rest soon. That's all that can be done. Oh, nonsense. That's only... You just wait right there and I'll be right back. Sally, where'd you put your father's medicine? You go get it for me. I heard just like woman there. Uh, the surest way to their sympathies is through suffering, Tata. The way she spoke at first, I doubt that she would have listened to us for a moment if she hadn't caught sight of your wound. Uh, I don't know what this medicine is she spoke of, but if it doesn't help, it most likely won't do you any harm. Every ranch house has its cupboards full of patent medicines of one kind or another. That's right. Now, here you are. I poured some in a cup and mixed it with water just like the doctor told my husband to do. Now, you drink it right down. Uh, me. Thank you. Oh, that's all right. Now, what's the medicine supposed to do? It's not supposed to mm-hmm. cure anything. It's just to kill pain. My husband swears by it. He gets it from Dr. Sykes. I see. Here. Here, cup. Finished already? It yeah. didn't take you long. Wasn't so bad after all, was it? Yeah. Now, what supplies did you say you needed? Bacon, flour, and whatever you can spare. Well, if you'll excuse me again, I'll see what I can find. Oh. Tunnel. <laughs> me. Be all right. All right? Tommy, you're sick. What is it? What's wrong? You'll have to let us come inside. My friend's seriously ill. Andy, have a seat. Uh, Thanks. Where you been? I was looking for you yesterday. I couldn't make it home. Oh, no? In the morning, the fellow stopped by with a redskin. The redskin was took sick, and we let him in the house. Didn't want to come to town, leave Sarah alone there with strangers. Oh. Still there? No, cleared out last night. Yeah. Well, you made up your mind. Decided yet what you're going to do? Hope you know what you've asked is the same as suicide. I didn't say it wasn't. You scared of cashing in a little earlier than you would anyhow? Well, I... I ain't urging you to take on this job, Andy. Only remember this. You know what the doc told you. In the end, it's going to be all the same. But if you do this for me, your family's going to be left with nothing to worry about. And if you don't, then they're going to be in a right bad spot. I know. I've thought all that out. Well, then... And I reckon I'll take you up. But I want to get this straight. Get what straight? About the mine. You're going to lower me down the shaft. Then I'll have to crawl about a hundred yards into the tunnel, huh? That's right. I take blasting powder and fuse with me. I set the powder where you say... And then... You'll have about one chance in a thousand to get out again. Maybe you can do it. I don't know. But anyhow, what difference does it make? None, I reckon. But how come you want to blast? Well, when we had that cave in a year ago, we lost the vein. The only way it can be uncovered again is by blasting at just that particular point. Can I get as far into the tunnel as you want? I think you can. Only it won't be easy. It's pretty well filled in. Now, you'll have to make it by crawling. There'll be timbers to get around, and you'll likely be laying in water most of the time. But I've investigated some, and it can be done. You've been trying to get somebody for that job for quite a spell, ain't you, Hobe? <laughs> Can't blame him for dodging it, can you? No, I reckon not. Well? Ten thousand, you said. Ten thousand? Then I'll tell you what. Huh? Put that cash in the bank for me. Yeah? And I'm your man. I'll tell you. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
how to continue our story. Unknown to Andy Drummond and Hope Chaplin, the Lone Ranger had been outside Hope's office listening to their conversation. Afterwards, he raced out of town and did not draw rein until he had reached the well-hidden camp where Tonto was waiting. Oh, hold there, Silver. Oh, boy. Oh. Tonto, how are you feeling? Oh, me. Me feel good. All over that attack you had yesterday? Uh Ah. And there's no doubt it was caused by that so-called medicine you were given at the ranch house. It it poisoned. If not poison, certainly something designed to make a man feel ill. Ah. And my suspicions were correct. Oh, what you find out? Someone's playing a game on Andy. I thought as much when I learned his symptoms were identical with yours. Uh-huh. Someone wants Andy to believe that he's a sick man. Not bad. He's been given that medicine, presumably, to make him feel better. And all the time, it's actually making him feel worse. And that's what Tonto think. And that means what you... that the doctor in town and Hope Chaplin are working together. The one has persuaded Andy that he has no hope of living. Oh. And the other has taken advantage of the situation to persuade Andy to sacrifice his life. Uh, what we do? There's money involved in this, Kimasabi. Money that Andy and his family badly need. Uh-huh. We're going to make sure he gets that money. That good. And then we're going to see that Hope and Dr. Sites get the punishment they deserve. Come in here. Sure, boss. I need you. This is Doc Sites. I reckon you two are acquainted. <laughs> yeah. We've met. Buck, I think you know something of what we've been planning. Figuring on a way to open up the mine again, aren't you? Yeah. And if it works, I reckon you're savvy what it means to you. You'll be in charge. You'll have a regular job again. Mm, I can use one. Yeah, I thought so. And if the mine is opened... Uh, you ain't going to worry too much about what happens to anybody else on account of it, are you? <laughs> ain't you better acquainted with me than that, boss? <laughs> well, then you'd better know how this is going to be done. Go ahead. I'm listening. There's no use going into how or when, but Doc here's convinced Andy Drummond he ain't got long to live. Hmm. Well, doggone. And that being the case, he said he'll be willing to plant the powder. I'm to pay him $10,000. Say, for that much cash, I'd do it myself. <laughs> so would Hobe. Huh? Then what? Oh, Andy you... isn't going to keep that cash. He just thinks he is. <laughs> I've got it here in folding money. Now, Andy's to call for it most any minute now, so I've got to talk fast. When he gets here, Buck, I'm going to give it to him. But when he leaves, yeah? you'll follow without his knowing. Watch what he does. Find where this cash is hid. <laughs> then later you can tell me where. <laughs> I get it. Afterwards you steal it back, huh? <laughs> Just so. But what's Andy going to say to that? Won't he be suspicious? Nope. But... Andy's going to crawl into that tunnel and plant the powder. But he ain't never going to come out again alive. You see, Buck, we'll have one end of the fuse above the ground. When the powder's set, we light it. <laughs> Andy won't have a chance. Well, I'll be... <laughs> Boss, that's slick. Andy will never be able to claim nothing. And naturally, he hasn't told his family about this affair. You'll steal the cash back. And nothing can be proved. The mine's open and we'll all be sitting pretty. I'm taking care of Doc here and you'll have your job and a bonus besides. And I'll be taken out or by the carload again. <laughs> now, how's that sound? Swell. Very fine, but... Uh... Huh? But What? You better get those grins off your faces. Here comes Andy now. Oh, <laughs> there he is, all right. You want me to leave, boy? Oh, no, stay here. It doesn't matter. Come in. Oh, well, right. come in, Andy. Come in. Don't mind these fellows, Andy. They all understand the circumstances. Yeah. And here's your money. Take it. Take it home and put it somewhere so it'll be safe. This is mighty fine of you, oh, Hope. Oh, not at all, Andy. Not at all. And and the rest. How soon? The sooner the better. Well, I'd now like go to be home sure. and do what you want with that cash, and then get back here just as fast as you can. We'll be waiting. We've got the powder, the fuse, and everything we need. We'll start for the mine at once. Mm. All right. I won't take longer than an hour. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye, Andy. Buck. Yeah. Follow that hombre. Steady, 
Silver. There goes Andy Tonto. Uh. Who's that fellow behind him? Oh, well, Tonto not known. Seems to me I've seen him hanging around Hobe's office. Uh. He's certainly taking pains to see to it that Andy doesn't catch sight of him. Mm. Come, Tonto. Hobe set that fellow to spy on Andy. Uh. He'll find that two can play at that game. Come on, Silver. Easy, old fellow. Get him up, Scout. Get him up. Don't be so foolish. The way you're acting, the body thinks you're expected to be away from home a year. You're just going to town then right back again, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Well, then don't make so much fuss about it. Out with you now. I've got my cooking to look after. Well, well goodbye then, honey. Goodbye. And don't forget to stop in the store on your way back. Yeah, I'll stop. Then go on, Andy. Go on. At this rate, you won't be home till dark. Go on with you now. But I... Doggone, I couldn't tell her. I just couldn't. Get up, fella. Get up there. She wouldn't understand. She wouldn't stand for it for a minute. But the kids got to leave them something to live on. Maybe someday they'll know. Maybe someday. Andy, pull up. What? Whoa, whoa there. Whoa, whoa. Follow me. The mask man. You and I are going to have a talk. Hey, hold on. I can't. I gotta get to town. It's important to tell you. Now, this won't take but long. I've got you to can get... join them later. Let's go. Come on, Silver. Hey, let go my bridle. Hurry up, Hurry up. Hey, boy. That engine's changed his mind. Hold it, Hope. Hold it. He'll be along. Don't get so impatient. Yeah, but it's getting dark. That's all the better. He's an hour late already. Why would it be late unless he'd got to thinking things <laughs> over? Hope, you're the one who's behaving like a fool. Huh? Can't you understand? The man has to say goodbye to his family. They don't know it, but he'll never be back. Can't you realize what that must mean to him? Yeah, yeah I suppose. Naturally, he's late. He isn't finding it easy. He'll be here. I know the fellow. He... <laughs> there, you see? All your hollering over nothing. That Andy? That's the horse he rides, isn't it? What? Sure, sure it's him. Hi there. Get a move on. I'm hurrying. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry about holding you. Well, never mind I... your excuses. You still holding to your bargain? Oh, sure. Then lay the leather that horse you're riding. We've got to make time. Get up, boy. Get, Get up, up there. there. Come on. Get up. Get up there. Come on. Come on. Oh, 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 Well, here's the shaft. There ain't much light left, but you can still see down it. Uh-huh. You got the fuse and powder, Doc. Bring them along. Uh, sure. You see this rope, Andy? Uh-huh. Now, you'll tie it around your middle. We'll lower you on it and pull you up again the same way so as you can get out again. All right. Now, we'll keep one end of the rope and one end of the fuse up here. When everything's set down there in the tunnel, you give the rope a jerk. That'll mean the powder's planted and you're ready to try getting back. I'll remember. We won't light the fuse till you're either up here again or we know for sure you can't make it. You got everything, Doc? Here you are. That the rope tied, Andy? There. Yeah, it's tied. Then take this stuff and climb on over. felt any pressure on this rope for the last five minutes. You think he even got there? Hey, must have. You see how much rope we paid out? Oh. Well, it's plenty to get him there. More than plenty. He's likely planting the powder right now. Uh-huh. He'll be giving us a signal in a second. I suppose. And when he does, you light this fuse here and then run like you never run afore. This was this spot will be blown to glory. Now, there's a little cave down the side of the hill and we'll get in there. We can... Hey, wait. What? The rope is jerking. Isn't that the signal? Light that match. Just a second. Hold the fuse steady. I am. The catch? Wait. There it is. Come on, get moving. Hurry. In here, quick. 
Why doesn't it go off? It will. But why does... Just wait. I tell you, there she goes. Back to the mine. Come on. That should have blown the whole thing clear. <laughs> it did. You wait and see. It's pretty dark, but just as soon as we top this rise, we... What in thunder is... Hope your dirty scheme didn't work. Hey, Sandy, alive. But how? Yeah, Where? Scums. Oh, shoot him, drill him. We can't take him back to town alive. He'll talk his head off. I'll fix him. No, you don't. That's just what we wanted to hear. That puts the noose right round your neck. The sheriff. And the bass man. They're coming, Sheriff. Handcuff them. Right. You... you thought that blast was caused by the powder I took down into the mine. But it wasn't. The sheriff and I set another charge, which tricked you into betraying yourself. Why, you... I never put the fuse to that powder, Hobe. I gave you the signal on the rope just to make you think I had. The masked man had told me what to do. And the masked man's part brought in another one of you polecats. I reckon you know him, Hobe. Handles Buck. The engine caught him sneaking around Andy's place. Buck's in jail right now, and he's talked his head off. You got me into this, Hobe. I... Quiet. You're equally guilty. Hobe may have schemed it. But you made Andy think that he was dying. When there ain't nothing wrong with me at all. Now listen, Sheriff. I'll give you the straight of it. Don't believe these fellas. They don't know it. What? What happened here, I seen with my own eyes and heard with my own ears. But you can't. They told me about the cash. Andy's keeping it. I'll see to that. He made a bargain with you. Ain't his fault you tried to double-cross him. So as far as the law is concerned... That money's rightfully his. Hey, you can't give him that money. <laughs> I never thought I'd have cause to thank a fellow that tried to kill me, Hobe. But thanks for that 10000 just the same. And thanks to the masked man. Just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.